Assalamualaikum and welcome to my channel. In today's presentation, this is on MFRS 108 Accounting Policies, Changes in Accounting Estimates and Errors. And for your information, this is the fourth uh, presentation is this continuation from the three lectures and examples that I've done earlier. So now let's move on to example eight and um, that is regarding errors. So we have this company, 1st January 2006, Mambo Berhad acquired a building costing 10 million and this is the initial cost and this is the date of acquisition and it was being depreciated over useful life of 40 years so this is the expected useful life the building was first revalued so this is the first revaluation which is on 31st of december so this is the first revaluation and please recall the accounting treatment for the first revaluation. And that is a surplus, where there is a surplus is not informed on the fair value of 11 million. So you need to go and find out, of course, fair value will be compared with the carrying amount on the first revaluation date, 31st of December, X8. However, the difference between the fair value and the carrying value, the revaluation surplus, was not credited to the ARR, but here it was credited immediately to the income statement in the year 2000X8. So the fair value was 11 million. So we need to go and find out what is the carrying amount so that you can know what is the surplus that has been wrongly credited? You are informed the retained profit as at 1st of January 2000X9, uh, the beginning of the year, which is the beginning of the year, was 20 million. How do we know that? Because the end of the year is here, which is current financial year is 31st of December. So 1st of January is at the beginning of the year where you are informed the opening balance. So this is the opening balance of retained profit. So the opening balance of the equity component. You are asked to explain the accounting treatment. So you need to first identify whether there is um, an error, either prior period error or current period error and then the, look at the journal entries after you have explained the accounting treatment journal entries here is to correct the error so again i put the question here right so this is what happened first of january 2000x6 you have the date of acquisition of the equipment here where the initial cost was 40 million and the expected useful life here, EUL, is 40 years. And the building was first revalued on 31st of December here. The first revaluation, the fair value was 8 million. You need to go and find out what is the revaluation surplus that was credited immediately here. To the statement of profit or loss that was wrong. Retain profit brought forward as at 1st of January 2000X9, the beginning of the year, was 20 million. So what was actually done by the company? The revaluation surplus was credited as income for the year ended 31st of December. So that appears in the SOPL for that particular prior year. And that is a prior year error because that happens in the prior period. And this is the prior period period the period here then we look at the effects in terms of the effect when that happened your retained profit has been overstated since the income has been included that is not an income however the surplus was not being um, credited so therefore the uh, the uh, asset revaluation reserve building that should have been credited has now been understated so what should have been done? So we need to go and decrease the retained earnings to actually remove the income uh, from the 
prior period and increase the building revaluation reserve with the surplus to correct the error. So this is the accounting treatment. What is the prior year error? Explain what were the error, how much is the revaluation surplus? It was 1750. How do you get that? Take the cost minus the accumulated depreciation. Cost minus accumulated depreciation where the year dep accumulated depreciation you take the cost divided by the expected useful lifetime is three times three is because that was already been three years from first of january 2000x9 2000x7 here uh, this one is uh, seven eight and this is 2000x9 so three years so that has to be computed and you have uh, noticed it was credited to the statement of profit or loss as an income for the year uh, 2000x8 so that adjustment uh, of error has to be made retrospectively how by adjusting the opening balance of the retained earnings remember retained earnings given was 20 million so you need to go and reduce the opening balance and when you do that the restated opening balance of retained earning will also decrease by 1750 which is a revaluation surplus that has been debited to the uh, retained earnings like what you can see here the journal entry and the revaluation surplus must be recorded and it was credited to the building revaluation reserve ARR building that that is the journal entry to reduce the retained earnings with the error okay so that was a, the impact in the journal and accounting treatment so let's look at example 9 which is our last example you have 2nd of January 2000x3 this is the beginning uh, this is the date where uh, something uh, which is a fraud uh, that was being discovered so this is the date of discovery what was discovered Fasaha discovered fraudulent transaction were made by the employee and immediately dismissed him so we cannot get the money from him what happened is the cash that he received from the customer the total was 1 million has been divested by him since 1st of July 2000x1 so that has been divested so you cannot trace where um, and the money has never reached the company that 1 million the quarter was stolen during the current year ending 30th june 2003 while the remaining was stolen during the previous year right so there were two things that happened one in the current year another one in the previous year so there was one error here and one error here so as at 1st of july 2002 retail earnings of fasaha was 20 million so this is the opening balance of the retained earnings one at the beginning of the current year you are asked to discuss the appropriate accounting treatment in accordance with mfrs 108 accounting policies changes in accounting estimates and errors so this will be related to uh, the um, fraud expenses since that has not been received and that was a fraud done by the employee so the journal entries as well to do the correction of error the year end is to be assumed as at 30th of june 2000x3 so I have drawn this uh, di timeline diagram to plan things for you so this is uh, where you have the prior year this is the current year and the retained profit brought forward was 20 million as at 1st of Jan July 2000x2 the year end is June uh, every year what was done what was done is that there was a fraudulent transaction that caused loss to the company since the company did not receive the cash that was uh, paid by the trade receivable but that was not recorded however it was divested by the employee since 2000x1 and this happened in both current and prior period um, you would see that is a prior period error and current period error 
So when was the uh, fraudulent transaction discovered? It was on 2nd of January 2000X3. The discovery of the error where the transaction worth 1 million, the money received from the receivable was not recorded. 750,000 was stolen by the employee in the prior period, which is in year ending 1st of June, uh, 30th of June 2000X2. And the remaining, which is one quarter. So here is three quarter here. And this is one quarter was stolen in the current year. So what was the effect of that particular transaction? So the current year profit have been overstated. Yeah, because no uh, record has been made to realize the uh, fraud expenses. Retained earnings brought forward also was overstated because the fraud or the fraudulent transaction took place in both current and prior year. The trade receivable has also been overstated since there is no record to reduce the trade receivable. So the trade receivable have paid but none has been uh, adjusted. So what we should do is, it is, we need to do the um, uh, the uh, uh, impact or show the correction of error by reducing the retained profits brought forward, decrease them, also to decrease the current year profit since the profit has been overstated and fraud expense has not been recorded yet so that has to be decreased as well same goes for the trade receivable that has not been recorded for the payment that has been made by the customer and therefore it has to be decreased so that involves some correction of the error um the journal entry is here where you are going to reduce the profit it, uh, the, of course the, bit, the net profit net profit here is the uh, profit for the year yeah you do you go and debit profit for the year uh, 250,000 the one that is in the prior period will be debited to the written earnings which is the to adjust the brought forward figure by 750,000 and the trade receivable will have to be adjusted by the total 1 million. So this is a prior period error as I mentioned. Why? Because due to the fraudulent transaction. However, the losses due to the fraud incurred in the prior year should be adjusted retrospectively. How? By reducing the opening balance. And opening balance of the retained earnings must be reduced by the uh, error which is the fraud expense in the prior period and the current year loss due, due to the fraud is also being adjusted by written, written uh, writing it off against the current year profit in the SOPL uh, where you decrease it with 250,000. The trade receivable balance must also be reflected with the error by decreasing it with one million this is a presentation in the financial statement showing the impact of the um, error prior year error in the uh, statement of changes in equity yeah you can also show the impact in the statement of profit or loss maybe you can try and do that what is the impact and also what is the impact in the statement of financial position so you can think of doing that include that uh, extract statement as well with that that's it i uh, thank you for watching this is the end of uh, the fourth uh, lecture on this topic i'll see you when i will see you uh, catch me later for more videos on uh, class examples and other uh, questions with detailed discussion thank you for watching